Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this important video lecture I am going to talk about 15 technical terms about reinforcement a construction supervisor. So if you are working on construction site, so you should know these 15 technical terms especially for reinforcement a construction supervisor then you are able to complete your work on construction site and you should know these 15 technical terms especially for reinforcement. So let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you so much like the video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new on this channel especially for site engineer and site supervisor these 15 technical terms are very helpful so let's start guys here the first one is lap and compression lap and compression so what should be the lap and compression or lapping length and compression so that is lapping for compression zone should be with 50 d compression zone so there in compression zone we have rcc column because rcc column is in compression zone so what should be the lapping length there so that should be lapping for compression zone zone should be with 50 d where d should be okay d should be the dia of steel bar which you are using in compression member okay so that should be 50 d d should be die of steel bar which you are using in compression member or compression structure okay the second one is lapping for tension so in tension we have uh, simply like beam so what should be the lapping length there so the lapping length should be with 40 d especially in tension and compression that is 50 d and tension that should be 40 d so here d is also dia of steel bar okay which you are using in tension member same like beam okay the third one is no lapping so the lapping should be not provide where and why so we should not provide the lapping length lapping should not be provide larger than 36 millimeter die of steel bar if the die of steel bar and reinforcement if that is more than 36 millimeter so we should not provide lapping length okay so it's very important so it's also very important in interview question that for which one die of steel bar we should not provide the lapping length so you can answer them more than 36 millimeter or 36 also okay the full technical term is uh, for reinforcement that is required binding wire for building especially in building construction for reinforcement okay when we are binding with each other steel bars okay so that for one ton we required from 7 kg to 13 kg for one ton so for one ton steel bar for mild steel bar we need binding wire from 7 kg to 13 kg right the fifth one is standard length of mild steel that is i've already discussed in many videos that is 40 meter uh, 40 feet are 12 meters okay standard length of mild steel from factory okay or from industry okay that is 40 meter uh, 40 feet are 12 meters the sixth one is minimum longitudinal bar and column so we have uh, especially two main columns uh, main shapes okay one is circular and the second one is rectangular or uh, square so in square column we should use minimum four numbers of steel bars are is in square or rectangular minimum steel bars should be used four numbers but in circular column we should use minimum and circular six numbers of steel bars should be used minimum six numbers of bars should be used and circular and minimum four numbers should be used in rectangular or square shape column the seventh one is placing of first stirrup and beam we should use stirrup with two inches spacing the first stirrup should be placed with two inches as you can see this is plant beam okay our beam so the first stirrup should be provide our place with two inches and after that it's depend on your structure six inches or seven inches anything okay but the first stirrup should be provide at the spacing of two inches okay so this is beam beam uh, and stirrup so we provide uh, in beam we provide stirrup so therefore it's specially in beam 
the eighth one is hook anger of stirrups so this is stirrups guys okay so here is hook okay the hook angle it should be 135 degree that should be 135 degree okay so hook angle of stirrup should not be less than or more than 30 135 degree that's also interview question okay now the ninth one is maximum lap in a zone not be more than 50 percent guys in rcc slab or any other structure especially for beam column or in slab so we should not provide we should not provide more than 50 percent of lapping zone okay lap in zone okay that is a danger for build uh, for structure the tenth one is hook length and stirrup hook length this is hook and this is the length of hook so it should be 90 so d is die of steel bar die of steel for stirrup that should be 90 so with 90 we can get the length of hook and stirrup okay so guys here the 11th one is bent top bar what is bent up bar so nrcc slab we provide bent top bar so bent top bar should be provided near at support nrcc slab so guys you can see this is cross section of rcc slab so we provide bent up bar here like this so this is bent up bar okay so the bent up bar should be provided an rcc slab near its support okay so here is support here you can take for example column okay so it should be provided near its support bent up bar now bent bar for column especially for column so column is a vertical member so with 90 degree we should bend the bar here with 90 degree nrcc column okay so the bend length should not be less than 18 inches it should be 18 inches okay this is very helpful the 13th one is grade of concrete so which one grade of concrete should be used for rcc slab so use minimum m20 grade concrete so use minimum m20 grade concrete for rcc slab you should not use for beam uh, and also for rcc slab less than m20 grade concrete okay the 14th one is slab thickness so the slab thickness should not be less than 125 millimeters minimum it's minimum 125 millimeters so you can take it more than 25 or 125 but not less than 125 millimeters in rcc slab so guys the last one technical term especially for reinforcement a construction supervisor that is spacing of steel bars so the spacing of steel bars for main bars and distribution bars also for other rcc structure so according to drawing we should place the steel bars as a design structure okay so spacing of steel bar place the bar spacing according to drawing which you have specially for your project so guys these are 15 technical terms about reinforcement a construction supervisor so you should know all these points which i have discussed the front of you if you are working specially on construction site if you are working on site or if you are civil engineering student so you should also keep these points which i have discussed so guys if you have any question about this video so you just comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye